Welcome students. Today we're going to talk about the interface. So Rania, what do you know about it? So the interface, most of the times, it makes proteins and carry out uh, the vital functions. Moreover, the DNA is uncoiled. This means it's chromatin. Then it divides, making different copies. And that's all I know about the interface. Oh, but don't forget about the faces. What did I forget? Well, there are three faces in interface. D1. This is the first row face, where new cells start. Cell grow and make new organelles. G0. Here, the cells go out of the cycle and works, and it can also go back to G1. Material nerve and muscle cells stay in and almost never die. S phase. This is the longest phase in interface, where DNA replicates. DNA is copied for its new cell. G2. This is the shortest phase, and the second growth phase. Cells copy stem trials and check that everything is divided. Today I have learned a lot about interface. Thank you. You're welcome. Now we are moving on to so, my Mitosis. The chromatin condenses into chromosomes that have X-shaped structures. Each chromosome is composed of two sister chromatids containing identical genetic information. The chromosomes pair up so that both copies of chromosome 1 are together. Both copies of chromosome 2 are together and so on. In prometaphase, the two centrals uh, join together to form centrosomes. Chromosomes are dispersed through the cell. Kinetochore microtubules invade nuclear space and attach to kinetochores. Polar microtubules push against each other, moving centrosomes apart. In metaphase, the chromosomes line up the, up the center of the cell called metaphase plate. The centrals are now at opposite poles of the cell, with the mitotic spindle microtubules extending from them. The mitotic spindle microtubules attach to each of the sister chromatids. In anaphase, the sister chromatids are then pulled apart by the mitotic spindle, which pulls one chromatid to one pole and the other chromatid to the opposite pole. In anaphase, the sister chromatids are then pulled apart by the mitotic spindle, which pulls one chromatid to one pole and the other chromatid to the opposite pole. In telophase, a full set of chromosomes reach each pole. A membrane forms around each set of chromosomes to create two new nuclei. The single cell then pinches in the middle to form two separate daughter cells, each containing a full set of chromosomes within a nucleus. This process is known as cytokinesis. Two identical cells are formed with the chromatin in their side.